Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be unboxing my Cosbox um, marketplace order. <laughs> so, oh my god, it took so long to come. Um, so, uh, basically like I ordered the things back in February. And then they didn't really ship things until recently. So like the shipping of it didn't necessarily take that long. <laughs> it was just like the waiting for it to ship that took a long time but I guess like they want to make sure that they can kind of fulfill the orders and then ship them out or like I don't really know <laughs> but it's here and I'm happy <laughs> um and all that good stuff so one of my first products was little bags Wool supper is so small. Oh. So it does come with like kind of three bags. And then the last one has a handle. So in one of my previous boxes, I did get their bag. So I did go traveling with this as like my carry-on. <sighs> and I got red liqueur on it <laughs> where it was like, I don't know, it's going to stain and be there forever because I won't be able to kind of like wash it because kind of like on a tropical vacation, um, like if you get something wet, it's staying wet <laughs> throughout the full time there because of like humidity and things like that. But it came out, so I really like these bags. They're currently part of like their spring welcome box where I'm like, do I want to get another one? Because I do think um, it makes it just kind of like worthwhile. So I'm glad to get kind of like the little matching set to go with it for traveling and being organized. Um, I did kind of get their silicone wrap, reusable silicone food covers. So I just thought like they were kind of something cool and different. Kind of like not having to deal with saran wrap. So I'll test these out and kind of let you know in the comments how they, well they work. So you do kind of get six different sizes <laughs> they stick well i guess right so kind of like your big bowl and then like they stretch Damn. i'm like terrified that i stretch it and it breaks on me right away right your next size Kind of getting six of them. So trying to save waste be like that's what I think is kind of nice about cause boxes. Like they are trying to be they're environmentally friendly, kind of different things. I did kind of wish they brought back like their wax paper food wraps because I really want to try that just like anything that's new and different my box did <laughs> take a beating and some of the products inside did um but there's a scalp and root oat mask from name Seed Boluton Nutrients. Totally saying that wrong. Boluton Nutrients. So I'll be excited to kind of try that out. See how it does, what it does. 
I know oatmeal is supposed to be really calming for the skin, so hopefully it helps with my scalp issues. They had from High Bar, um, their solid shampoos, and they're like, hi there, nice to meet you. Like, I like when products are corny like that. I know I can't get into you. Um, so with my hair mask, I got 150 milliliters. I can't remember the prices of anything. It was so long ago. So I do apologize, but I think everything was kind of like $11 or less kind of deal. So the bar looks like it's already falling apart, like it's been put together for some spaces. Definitely like a lime smell, but I'm excited to kind of, oh my box dropped, um, try things out. So we'll kind of do separate videos on that. I love myself hair care. And some hair care is not created equal, like I just used a shampoo and it's so bad. But I'm going to give it to my grandmother, so maybe it's going to be better on hair hair. But I'll update in that video of how I don't like that product. Um, so I think they're just kind of like cleaner products. Then I was like, let's try bar shampoo versus bar shampoo. So be kind. I like products that I know how to say their names of. Um, so for my high bar, you get uh, 82 grams for the shampoo. Sorry, for the conditioner, 90 grams for the shampoo. Just have like interesting smells Ugh. some of like the boxing just seems so like unsturdy but like my box looked so beat up so I think they got a little beat up in their travel so it has orange and you Eucalyptus for normal hair. And how much is in you? Uh, 55 grams of each. So that's so weird. My shampoo is in kind of sealed, but my conditioner does. But it's like a bar of soap, so like shampoo so I don't think they did anything to it it would be like they're smaller companies the conditioner kind of like melts in your hand and I can definitely smell that eucalyptus Like these poor people that have to put this in the box. It is not easy. And then I did get a diaper cream because I do have like a little nephew and my sister likes clean products. So I was like, okay, let's get this for her to try. Um, <laughs> I got more shampoo because <laughs> I'm a crazy person. Um, and like the bottles are so interesting. Like they're falling apart. Like... I am just, oh, it's another like seed, seed, philatone nutrients. So, so their mission is to support independent organic farmers. So they have sunflower seeds.
I just think the packaging is so interesting. I'm kind of worried it's going to fall apart in my shower. I'm not going to lie because it seems like it's falling apart as I handle it. I'm like, I can't wait to be done with them and just like dissect it. See like what's going on with it. Like just some interesting packaging. It'll be interesting to see like if you deconstruct it what is going on inside. I'm just kind of like afraid to do so now and never get it back together. But it looks like there's like, honestly, like it looks like there's a bottle in it. Maybe just not as sturdy. So you're like, mm -hmm. So I did get my shampoo and conditioner and there's 250 milliliters in each. And I did do a moisturizer leave-in treatment that has 75 milliliters from Sponge Ella. I did get one of their body buffers. So it's like their travel one. So that's the little hand piece to go in and see. So I just wanted to try like their different ones, see if it's more like a scrub in it. And it smells so nice. From Skin Essence Organics, I did get a cleanser. Then I did try some of their deodorants. And like I saw this on like my Instagram. So I feel like they're stalking me a little. Um, but it's a charcoal deodorant. So it's their native deodorant. And then, I don't know what I was thinking, but then from Who Are You By Meow Meow Tweet. I don't know if that's the company's name. Yep, Meow Meow Tweet is the company's name. Um, this is their grapefruit baking soda free cream deodorant. So it's in a jar. That's where I'm like, I don't know what I was thinking. Kind of some of the writing is definitely like coming off of the container. So it's like made with spirit. So I will try kind of like both of them and compare them. So do you think they're kind of more like natural, fair trade? My last one is I did get a bamboo biodegradable brush. Cause like, why not go full on hipster? So it's a nice little wooden brush. And then I did get a Pacific mint. So it's a natural toothpaste with mint and sea salt. I don't feel like any kind of sea salt in there, but I'm excited to kind of try it out. So I feel like I got some hippy dippy clean products that I'm excited to try out. So hopefully they all work nicely. Um, and that, and like, I'm excited, like I finally got it. Right. Cause it always kind of sucks when you like pay for something and then you're waiting like two months for it like oh waiting is just so hard for me I am such an impatient person um but I'm definitely excited to try things I gotta really try hard to avoid some hair care because I have a lot in just one head um so like I'm set for the apocalypse for shampoo so if you're running out just like hit me up <laughs> so thanks so much for watching guys i hope you have a great day bye